Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to show you some exciting new advancements in how our firewalls process large elephant flows using Hyperflow. We all know that network throughput is not constant. During the day, users are active, and then at night, well, this is a good time to schedule larger file transfers. To ensure the cores on the quantum multi-core firewalls are fully optimized at all times, the firewalls dynamically change their CPU core assignments. This means, as throughput and security needs change, the load is equally balanced across the CPU cores, achieving the best performance. One example of this that you may know already is dynamic balancing. This dynamically sets the best mix of the number of firewall cores that do deep packet inspection and the number of secure network distributor cores that do low-level inspection and traffic distribution. No manual configuration or reboots are needed, and the changes are completely transparent. There is no traffic loss or compromise on security. Let's look at another example, boosting elephant flow throughput using Hyperflow. An elephant flow is one single network session made up of a large flow of continuous TCP packets. This may happen when backing up a large file or during a VM migration. With a single core assigned to process the traffic, there's a limit on the firewall throughput for that connection. So this is a prime use case for the new Hyperflow solution that automatically balances available resources, achieving better performance and better throughput. And this is simply done by dynamically adding more cores to process the elephant flow. Let's take a look. System resources are continuously monitored and when an elephant flow is detected, multiple cores are assigned to process the flow in parallel, balancing the load across the other cores on the firewall. Simple, right? Let's see a demo in action. In the top two panes, we monitor the load on the firewall cores, graphically in the left pane and using the CP view tool on the right. In the bottom two panes, we start two transfers of 20 gig files. Without Hyperflow, we see two firewall cores, number seven and 30, quickly reach 100% of their processing capacity. When the file transfer completes, the rate for both connections reached about 58 megabits per second and took about six minutes. Now, we enable Hyperflow and run that same test. This time, the two flows are detected and the connections are now load balanced across eight cores in parallel instead of two. In the final results, the transfer rate reached an average of 190 megabits per second and took about two minutes. So with Hyperflow, the file transfer is about three times faster. Two minutes with Hyperflow versus six minutes without. Nice. To test Hyperflow for yourself, contact your Checkpoint representative now.